but the children probably got it whenever it got there. So, and I don't know how far Cardington was from their location because I don't even know where Rose Garden Orphanage would have been. So, but you can tell it's a real place. I'll, I'll look it up. Cardington, of course, is real. But also, you have to remember, with our theory having to do with Wendy intercepted the letter and found it, and that's when she just kind of lost it completely. Remember? Um, yeah. And had to get rid it. of Martha. She had to have time to prep, because Gregory observed his victims beforehand. Wait, how did that story go? Didn't he pick the peas on Monday? Yep. Yep. Well, there you go. So I think she didn't finish the letter because Mr. Gregory came in and was like, Roar on the dog! And came and picked her up and took her away and nobody really noticed because they were children. And like, yeah, we have No, he memory. probably killed her and took yeah. her out as a limp body. And that's why nobody noticed because nobody heard her scream. Mm -hmm. And if it was during the day that she wrote that, no one was probably in the kitchen. No one was probably in her room. They were probably outside playing or something. Mm -hmm. So, yep. yep. Yep, 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 yep. That's what happened. When, the reason why she never read that letter was Wendy got it. Probably. That would, that would make the most sense. And the whole imp thing killing Martha, it being the work. children killing Martha, there's no way the children would have gotten away with killing Martha. Mm -mm. There's no way. Because they had Dr. Hoffman there, too. And Jennifer clearly states during the course of the game, or uh, during January, that Martha... Martha was, you know... She disappeared. No one knew about what happened to her. So, oh, and um, there's also another play in the Bird of Happiness chapter. Whenever you go search for the other half of the divorce couple thing or whatever, you see Martha. Mm hmm. You see her. She's so that's, dead, yeah. No, 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 no she's, she's not dead. Up. She's not dead. She's squirming. She's moving. She's uh. a lot. What is that? So, see, it shows how the children might have treated her. They might have tied her up and drawn on her, but killed her? Highly unlikely. Yeah. yeah. She would eventually gotten out, just like Jennifer. Exactly. So, I guess we should move on to Dr. Hoffman now. Yep. Oh, Dr. Hoffman, you crazy dude. <laughs> so, Dr. I want to hear your thoughts on Yeah, because you seem to have a lot of thoughts about Dr. Hoffman. Uh, Dr. Hoffman, man. Dr. Hoffman. Um, well, it first starts with the beginning of the game. Dr. Hoffman is like, okay, there's a little girl. Don't know where she came from, basically. But, you know, she's obviously an orphan because she has no parents. So he took her in. Let me scroll down to his uh, um, diary, shall we? Yeah. March is officially when the game sort of starts. So it says, recently the children have been engaging in odd activities and spreading disturbing rumors. Rumors about creatures that come after children who don't clean up and stray dog that kidnaps kids. Small Kidnaps small tots. You can never say that. It, it's, a, it's all very bizarre. So he's he doesn't understand what the children are doing at this point because, you know, he's just noticing their, their playing habits are changing because of Jennifer. Mm. Because it's only recently that they've been doing all this. Mm. And, Je and Jennifer comes to, their, comes to the orphanage in November of the following year. Or the following year. The previous year. What am I talking about? Um... And so, whenever she change the, all this changes, basically what happens, he's like, what in the world's going on with all these children? What are they doing? Like, disturbing rumors. Wow. Why, why are these rumors so bad? Because, you know, this is when the Rule of Rose is getting written. 
basically. The children are spreading the rumors about it because, you know, it's the rule of Rose. Wendy's actually putting her plan into motion here. So, that's whenever all that pretty much began. Because Dr. Hoffman's asserting the fact that it began pretty much in March. Um, then we don't really hear from him throughout the chapters, but in Sir Peter chapter... They, he doesn't have an entry where in where he talks about May. So we can only assume that, you know, mm -hmm. he's he's technically not there in, in May. But we see him tied up by imps and, you know, he becomes the boss of that chapter. I think that's solely developer thing right there. <clears throat> Need to drink of water. Right. But... The way he treats Jennifer, he treats her, oh my god, he treats her as if she's the lowest thing on the earth, but he treats the, all of them that's not his favorites, because he called them in order by their favorites, and his favorite of most favorites was Diana. I'm talking too much. So, whenever he, you know... Because I think Jennifer was afraid of him. Yeah. So, she was dead afraid of him. She was like, don't hurt me. But, you know, he gives the children plenty reason for this. Especially if you pay attention to his, him and um, Clara's reactions together. And if you pay attention to the Mermaid Princess chapter, the very end of it, how he treats... Um, Diana. Diana. He He's makes a little touchy-feely. Oh, yes. Yeah. A little is kind of, um... An, an understatement. Yeah. But, alright. Actually, Mermaid Princess is whenever he again has a... He's got two journal entries during that August. Today I was busy catching up on my work when Clara came by to offer me a hand. I guess my teaching paid off. I was grateful for her kindness. In the, in the wee hours of the morning, she was still, still working, so I gently took her to bed. Alright. That's what's going on in Mermaid Princess. Yes, that's what's going on in Mermaid Princess. Jennifer sees him take... She, apparently, she's up in the morning, too. Because maybe a rule of rose, you know, the whole rule of rose thing. And that's what she sees. She sees Dr. Hoffman taking Clara to bed. And Mermaid Princess, where is the mermaid? What is the mermaid in? She's in a bed. Mm -hmm. Before you fight her. So, so wait, does that mean the Mermaid Princess is Clara? The mermaid boss fight is Clara, yes. Yeah. But I doubt that that I doubt that it means anything about Clara. I doubt that it's anything that has to really do with Clara. Clara is just the character that they use for that boss fight. Yeah, it's not really anything that makes. Yeah, that's a, that's weird. That the, well, that's the only boss fight that didn't ha actually have much. Like, and I'm I'm talking like official boss fights. Not I don't like I don't call the two goats a boss fight. That wasn't a boss fight. But like the um, uh, Miss the Mr. Hoffman boss fight, the the uh, mermaid and the uh, final boss, both the mer. The mermaid's the only one that didn't actually, like, cause any fear to, um, I was about to say Fiona, but Jennifer. her name is Jennifer. Yes, her name is, that, that's, Clara, was she afraid of Clara? No. Mm -mm. Clara was the person that took care of them and treated their wounds when they were hurt. Yeah. So that, that, the mermaid, that, that boss the mermaid no boss, sense. just in that entire chapter, a lot of it makes no sense. Yeah. So and the rest of it goes. I can hardly believe it. My little Claire, her bless, ha bless her heart, is already sixteen years old. She tells me she wants to stay in the orphanage and help with the daily chores. Maybe I should seriously consider the offer. Tomorrow I'll discuss it with Martha. So Martha was still alive in August. Alive mm -hmm. in August. We put that, that in air quotes because people think that she died in, like, you know, Bird of Happiness or whatever. Because the children killed her. No, the children didn't kill anybody. That was in the Clover chapter. Well, she was still alive in Bird of Happiness. Floor. 
Yeah, but she's still alive, Bird Hack. Uh, yeah. Alright, 24th August. This is the 24th of August of the same August, you know. And it was like, this is simply inexcusable. My precious Koi is gone. The children must be responsible. I will not stand for this. Where is Diana? What has she been up to? My opinion of her will suffer because of this. Mm -hmm. And now see and this what is happens at the end of that chapter. He gets all touchy feely with her, and he's like, "Oh, well, you did it. You know, it's okay. It's okay." Da, 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 da. Yeah, and she but then also Diana shows that she is putting up a false front to Mr. Hoffman. She's trying to look like that sensitive girl, but really she's she is pissed off and disgusted, yes. angry and sad and disgusted. Mm -hmm. Now see, this is where.